Well, this here is the Volvo that went to Dundalk in Grand Valley. This is the one where I almost rolled somebody in Grand Valley. Um, it's been sitting all winter. It will be getting pulled back out here probably uh, in about two and a half, maybe three months time. So there's no big rush with this. But this was my full-on biggest build yet, other than my pro car. Um, and it, I haven't bent a strut. I just keep ripping off the bottom control arms. Uh, the hood has never been reopened since I originally put it down. Nobody's actually asked me to open it, which is kind of cool because it's not exactly easy to open. But um, still got the Volvo engine in it. It's uh, a good running car. I No issues with it. And the, the car's been through three derbies now, I think. And, uh, like, that's not even a loaded bumper. That's just off of a 95 uh, Roadmaster. No doubles on it, no nothing, and uh, she still just keeps going. Full cage, back end's tucked. It's starting to go down, but I'm not really too uh, problematic about it yet because it's not actually bending down. It's just coming up in a very slow manner, but not actually going towards the ground. So I'm not going to complain about it, but it looks like it's going down, but it's not. Uh, one flat, but... You're expected to get some flats. A couple good driver door hits. Like, I got inside cage, so I'm not too upset about it. But, uh, yeah, this is this is the car that made me like Volvos, and this is what made me start buying them. So now I got this one, that one, this one. I bought this one pre-ran. It's already got three derbies on it, and I'll put it through another maybe one. I got that one. And I got those two back there, so got quite a collection of Volvos now.